The importance of the grip is that it allows you to put the same position and setup on every shot. And so when the grip is the same on every shot, then you can adjust other parts of your swing to make the ball go left, right, short, long, high. So the golf grip is the most important part of the addressing the ball because your grip is the only time when you are actually touching the club. So the, uh, that's where all your feel is coming from. And a good grip is going to have uh, three aspects to it. One is that the hands are going to be pretty close together, you know, so that they're almost like one unit. Number two is that the grip is going to be somewhat in the fingers as opposed to the completely in the palms. And the reason it's in the fingers is that it's going to create that sort of wrist movement that is a part of the swing. And number three is that in general, your hands are going to somewhat mirror each other. They're not, they're not going to be like this or they're not going to be like this, but they're going to be somewhat coming together to little finger overlapping and that's only one way to do it that's the way I do it but that doesn't mean that it's the only way to do it another popular way is to actually lock these interlock these two fingers together your pointer finger on your left hand and your uh, pinky on your right hand assuming that you're know just where they're actually just what they kind of call a 10 finger grip and where there's no overlap at all. None of these are more right than others. It's really a matter of preference. But whatever your preference, you're going to want to use the same grip every single time because part of your gripping the ball is getting ready for your shot. That's the one thing that you 